One of the objects which we had submitted was a matchbox and it had a lovely story attached to it. In the Great War Archive we went out to the community and we ran submission days but we also had a website where people could submit things online. And a user in Australia submitted this picture of a matchbox. And you probably think, well, there's nothing extraordinary about a matchbox from the period of the war. But inside the matchbox was a little hand-scribbled note from a soldier to his wife and daughter. And the user put in the story, or told us the story, that what happened was the soldier was in Scotland and he was in a training camp and then suddenly he was called to the front. So his regiment got on the train and as the train was heading south it passed through his village and he didn't have a chance to get out and stop so he threw the matchbox out of the window onto the platform and someone picked it up and gave it to his wife and she kept it. Unfortunately the soldier then went to France uh, and was killed within a week. So that was the last note that um, he ever sent, the last letter that he ever sent to his family. And this was kept by um, his relatives and it was passed down and they actually emigrated to Australia. So when the um, call went out for the project, these people in Australia had heard of this and they submitted the image and the story. Uh, but it doesn't stop there because then what happened was some relatives in Scotland who'd lost touch with their relatives in Australia were looking at the archive when it li went live, found this information about their great-grandfather and then found um, relatives which they probably didn't know existed in Australia. The Great War Archive is a powerful and poignant collection of the nation's past, built by reaching out online to the wider community for their hidden treasures. Through JISC, the nation's political, military and sometimes very personal history is being given a new lease of life to inspire learning, teaching and research, now and for future generations to come.